like 7 45 in the morning i actually slept through my alarm no biggie hung out with matt for a little bit this morning had some coffee i've got let's figure i show you the road walk a little bit probably tired looking at my face but yeah man Lompum chapter dude thank you guys so much for all the love um weather's supposed to be iffy the next couple days i'm gonna try to do 20 a day that's my goal a minimum 20 a day but uh if it gets too bad i'll just set up camp somewhere maybe do some night hiking you know if the weather's clear at night there's no reason not to I'm just kind of cruise along still gonna try to do pa in two weeks um get up there to uh salamanca and uh the uh Seneca Casino, I see Tracy. Uh, might actually, depending on what day I land up there, I might just stay there. Because I'm going to try not to get a room or do anything like that until I get there. <laughs> Be nice and smelly walking in. But yeah, it's got some road walk. This is part of the reroute um, that goes past Matt's house. He's got, his family's got, uh, I think, like 600 acres. So they're actually moving the trail into the woods and off the road. They're working on the trail right now. They got like a 76 foot bridge they're building and everything. So that'd be a lot nicer for future hikers. Cause uh, some of the road walking does kind of, I guess the worst part of the road walking is the cars, you know, the cars and uh, loose dogs aren't that big a deal here as they were in uh, Southern, Southern Ohio. There are loose dogs everywhere, but yeah, just cruising along. Um, like I said, try to knock out as many miles as I can. See, there's another loose dog right there, but for the most part, they all have invisible fences and stuff. Yeah, just wanted to once again say thank you to the Wampum chapter and everybody in it. Uh, it's an amazing chapter. If I lived in this area, I would definitely be a member of it. Um, it's uh, made this trip a lot more enjoyable. And, uh, you know, the trail is... There's an old fireplace down there in the woods. I don't know if you can see it down there, that white thing. Let's see. Old fireplace way down in there. But yeah. Get out here and check out the trail. Buckeye Trail, the North Country Trail. Uh, and again, in New York, I'll be on the Finger Lakes for a little while. Uh, North Country Trail also uses uh, uh, the Superior Trail up there in Minnesota, the Border Route Trail. Let me, see, let me see if I say this right, the Kekakopic. You can correct me if you want. But yeah. If you through hike the NCT, you actually get to through hike a few more trails in the process. So you can knock out multiples. I'll talk to you guys later though. Bye. There you go, I'm in the middle of, uh, I can't remember the name of the town. <laughs> I always do that. I've already done about 18 miles. Hmm supposed to be crappy tomorrow another 18 miles that'd be a 36 mile day don't really want to do a 36 mile day but if it rains all day tomorrow i wouldn't feel bad if i sat there either so i don't know i mean a uh, dozen amish cookies monster cookies energize me down the trail let's so see how it goes talk to you later hey guys still 25th it's uh only 3 15 in the afternoon I've done uh 20 miles now just made to hell's hollow it says it's a tough trail it says six miles and give yourself seven hours but i don't know man i've never been on a trail that i went less than a mile an hour unless it was like two or three feet of snow so i guess we'll find out but i'm feeling really good i guess in like another 15 miles there's a shelter so i'm feeling good enough i might just keep walking even at two miles an hour i get there by 11 and then uh if the weather doesn't hold out tomorrow i won't feel bad about uh just laying around for a little bit so i don't know I see the sun coming up here with this uh, i don't say anything about the uh about the shelter but yeah, you're not supposed to park uh, camp in mcconnell's mill anyways so i might go to the shelter i don't know well, find out. I'll let you know. These are not as bad as they say. 
Everywhere in parking is two miles away. It's been 45 minutes. One up flashes another two. 4.2 to Eckert Bridge. Definitely not uh, six miles in seven hours. Thing. I mean, I could see it if you just come out and I guess, okay. If you're a novice, I guess, or out of shape or injured. <laughs> But no, it's not that bad. The trail's really muddy right now too, but it feels good out here. Still think I might push to the shelter. Yeah. We'll see. Otherwise, uh, it's still two well, February 25th. And uh Hell's Run parking, 6.2 miles back. Two hours and 23 minutes. Not bad, not bad. It says it would take seven hours. I don't think so. All right, so. Um, I guess there's a shelter. What have done? 20 miles? 25 and a half? There's a shelter in like nine miles. I might as well just keep going. I feel pretty good right now. Um, I'm just going to do it. You go to the park, get to a shelter. It'll be a 34 mile day. And uh, I can uh, sleep in tomorrow. So yeah, supposed to do the R word anyways. Uh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on trucking guys. This is a beautiful park. Um, the trail's really muddy right now. But I have seen zero people out here. And uh, just cruising right along. There should be some, I think about a mile or so. There's some bathrooms. Um, so stop in there if it's unlocked and, you know, relax for a minute. And then take off and get to that shelter. Should be at the shelter by, it's 540. Even if I only do two miles an hour, I'm looking at uh, shit, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock, something like that. Not bad. So, talk to you later. When I get there, probably. Bye.